All right, Michael, take us into the tip of the week this week. So the tip of the week is actually from Reddit. I saw a really interesting thread where someone uh, put in a like a screenshot or a photo of what happened to their that computer when it was shooting. A screenshot? Wow. Michael, that's amazing. Hmm. I'm not done yet with the oh, tip. Right. Okay. Okay. But screenshots now, were the tip. Take a screenshot of errors in case you want to get help. End of tip of the week. Actually, that's not a bad tip, but it's, not it's, a bad also, tip. Yeah. it's also yeah. not what I was trying to do. That's so, next week's tip now. <laughs> that's next week's, yeah. The, the, the photo was showing an error with their booting system. And a lot of these times, these errors are not helpful in terms of like the, what is the person who's reading it knows what it is because yeah. it's very specific and, you know, I have my es- esoteric things related to it. But it's also potentially useful for showing it to someone else. And in this case, that's exactly what they did. They put in on Reddit. I'm not saying go to Reddit for do it. I'm saying what the error was. So the error they were seeing was like a device, a USB device not being detected properly, or it might not be working correctly. And this is not the tip because I've had this myself. And I, there's many ways you could tr- try to kind of like uh, troubleshoot this and figure it out. But one of the comments by Lana Vishnu was very good and it made me want to tell people about this because they say that to save you booting repeatedly which has happened to me in the past disconnect all of your non-keyboard and mouse usb devices open two terminals and then put in this on one of them which is a long message that's tail dash f var log d message i'll have the whole thing actually in the show notes and then plug in a usb device then look for errors as you plug things in in the other terminal, type LSUSB after each device is plugged in and see what the new device is. Plug in more USB devices until you get to the error, and then you can address it once you look at it and see what it, in the USB list, you can get more information about it. And then you could go to Google or DuckDuckGo and actually find what the issue is and if there's a way to fix it and that sort of stuff. This was such a good tip that I wanted to share it with you because the idea of having those two terminals thing and putting those in, I didn't think about that at all before. And now, yeah. if I ever need to, I'm definitely going to be using this. And imagine how much time it takes to sit there and reboot. And like, unplug our USB devices, plug one in, reboot. Exactly. Yeah, 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 then reboot that. again, <laughs> plug in your next device. I mean, <laughs> Linux boots very fast. That's an advantage. But that's still slow as sin. Way awesome suggestion there. That's a good tip. Way better than the screenshot tip you gave earlier. That wasn't the tip. It was... Oh. <laughs> 